Red light enforcement cameras are a hot button issue in Cedar Rapids, where 10 intersections are expected to be monitored by July 1st. The cameras could bring in $750,000 annually, but police insist it has nothing to do with the money. Police Chief Greg Graham says it has everything to do with safety. We, you know, we work about 5,000 crashes here uh, in Cedar Rapids, and studies have shown that when you install these cameras in, in, uh, in communities, that the crashes reduce by 20 percent citywide, not just at the at the signal intersections, at the mm -hmm. cameraed intersections. Um, so we see this as a benefit for us to to uh, increase the safety of the traveling population. The reality of it is, is yeah, it's going to generate revenue. There, I mean, there's no way around that, uh, and there's no way around me saying anything different than that. Um, yeah, it's going to generate revenue, but the revenue it generates. I really don't care whether it does or it doesn't. The cameras won't cost the city any money because they're owned and operated by the vendor and even maintained if they break down. Once the cameras are installed, the vendor will re review each potential violation and then send photos and video to the police department where an officer will determine if it warrants a citation. When the light turns yellow is when it starts snapping pictures. Okay. Um, or it may video 24 hours a day. Yeah. Um, and then if, if a car enters the intersection, and which is inter past the stop bar after the, the red, after the yellow's turn red, mm -hmm. those are the ones that get sent. From the company gets them, they send them to us. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of us have been said, well, what if you're turning left and you're already in, in the intersection and the light turns red and you continue to turn left? Well, if you're already in the intersection, it's not a red light. Right. You know, once yeah. you're in the intersection, you're fine. Um, you know, or if you've got to turn right, or if you have to go through it because an emergency vehicle is coming through. Mm -hmm. I mean, all that stuff, yeah. nobody's going to get a ticket for that. If they do, it's going to get dismissed. Yeah. Tickets from the red light cameras would go to the registered owner of the vehicle, not necessarily the driver, which has some critics concerned. Other critics say the cameras are an invasion of privacy. If you know that the person you're loaning your car to isn't a good driver, then maybe you shouldn't be loaning your car to them. Mm -hmm. Because how bad is it going to be when they run that red light and total that car? Yeah. Or and the insurance somebody. company goes, well, wait a minute, that's not an insured driver on your on your on your uh, policy. We're not going to give you, you know, we're not going to pay to have your car redone. It, it's a balance of people's rights, privacy rights, and, and the the safety of the public. And the public has to understand that. You know, my, my responsibility is to make this the safest place as possible. 